my dear masters my dear guards my dear friends namaste to all welcome to the today session friends today we are going to discuss about the no death life beyond death life after death it's a wonderful concept the spiritual the great spiritual concept spiritual wisdom my dear friends and also we'll be trying to understand the holistic lifestyle one tip at the end and also practice of meditation then question answers friends let's start the session today welcome to you all once again we need we, we try to understand in detail about two things my dear friends today that is what is what is meaning of the death what is meant by death what is meant by death and also we try to understand in brief about life beyond death life after death my dear friends friends we used to we used to see in the society the the real life we used to observe every human being take birth then it become infant from infant then become child child to young he become young person after that adult after that the he become old then he pass away that we call it as a death it happens in every house every family in every where it is certain the death is certain at some point of time for different people at different point of time it happens at childhood it happens for adulthood it happens in young, young age it may happen in the old age and then natural natural they pass away there is no surprise no need to be surprised my dear friends it can happen any time any moment for anybody at any stage some people die before they born from the mother womb they die inside the mother womb also all these things my dear friends if you want to understand if you want to really analyze first of all you need to have that the great spiritual insight that great spiritual wisdom with you in order to understand this the great mystery behind this death and birth so hence <clears throat> there is no question of weeping there is no question of crying we we'll all will be happy we all celebrate if any the new soul is taking birth on the earth planet somebody somebody taking birth somebody is getting born then we all will be very happy we felt so happy why because some new soul is coming you are getting a new person into your house right the same way you need to understand only one thing as there is a death death is certain you don't need to cry you don't need to weep you are just the death is again the transition from one one place to the other place it is as good as my dear friends you are going from one room to other room right when we understand the real spirit the spiritual wisdom the spiritual insight if you try to understand then this death process is very simple for you it doesn't bother you you'll be always joyful you'll because you are enlightened you are self realized or at least you are in the process of self realization that is easy to understand it is easy to digest the death process but it's beautiful it's a beautiful process my dear friends you know one day we wear the shirt the shirt gets dirty the next day what what happens we we throw the throw the uh, the dirty shirt then we take a new shirt then we will be fresh my dear friends but you may have a question why did it happen at lower age for somebody somebody die at infant somebody die at childhood it all again my dear friends it all the design of the purpose of life for that particular soul you have nothing to do you have nothing to comment you may be a, you may be a parent you may be crying but it doesn't matter there is a purpose behind it 
who knows what is the life journey the previous lives of that particular soul that particular person he may be a child he may be an adult he may be a old age he may be an infant i i mentioned yesterday also some people born with a disability deaf deaf and dumb they can't hear they can't see but we don't know their karmic react their karmic debt their karmic life cycle we don't know we don't have that wisdom to understand that my dear friends the hence the spirituality what is spirituality living with the truth that is spirituality when you are living away from the truth that is prapanchika is a materialistic life many of the people 99% of the people in this world i can say that they are all living away from the truth they are not with the, they, they are not living with the spirit they are not living with the truth my dear friends it means they are not living in soul consciousness they are always in the body consciousness you try to observe many of the people they are in hurry of doing anything whatever whatever it comes across whether it's good bad doesn't matter for them killing somebody killing animals to eat uh, food robbing somebody cheating illegal means of earning everything they are ready to do my friends why it is happening so what is the reason for that because they are in hurry they do not know there is a life after the after death also there is a life after death and again he has to come back all these things this wisdom he doesn't have that's why he is in hurry he has lot of negative karmas he not have to earn good money for his for his child for his family but he doesn't know that how much negative karma is accumulating for the next life he will be under the threat of the karmic debt the karmic bondage my dear friends if you start learning the spirituality adhyatmika shastra about soul about wisdom practice of meditation with all these things you start getting the slow symptoms of understanding the actual understanding the original meaning of life you try to understand the inner meanings of your own life artha paramartha you try to understand then only you can understand because you came to the path you came to the track try to understand this when you don't know about the spirituality when you are living when you are living away from the truth you have you are you have everything all is an urgency for you you have fear you have ahimsa you have an ahimsa the, the character ahimsa character it is with you very much available 99% people on this earth planet they are doing ahimsa they are doing himsa they are doing himsa in one or other manner they don't have ahimsa attitude they have always himsa they are committing himsa it can be mental physical whatever it may be they do not know they are creating a bad karma for that hence what happened my dear friends we need to understand one thing there is a life beyond death there is a life after life there were previous lives my dear friends so many of the many of the rishis many of the yogis of ancient india gautam buddha he born as a siddhartha after that he got enlightened he could see all his previous lives he could see the future once he got enlightened he has given the great message to the world the death is certain your soul will not die you are the death is for your physical body not for your soul my dear friends this message is given this wisdom is shared by or taught by the gautam buddha to all the humanity so you need to understand it means you have birth after this death after the death of this physical body in this lifetime once you complete it 
then you all, you also have one more birth that's called reincarnation you are going to come back again if you when you understand this truth you have no question of what you say like dukkha you are out of dukkha dukkha rahitya dukkha rahitya janma rahitya so as, as the soul is uh, taking many many births and many many births many deaths many births many deaths it's called punar punarapi maranam punarapi jaranam shankaracharya says punarapi maranam punarapi jaranam it's quite common my dear friends it is very generic process it happens but we don't know the truth right so that's why we are crying we are in dukkha for any small thing happens to your child or somebody died in the family or somebody passed away or somebody got accidented for all everything you cry you you went into the sadness you went into dukkha depression because you don't know that only the body is passed the body's body got the death here the panchabhutas it, it merged into the panchabhutas but the soul is passed away soul has taken its own journey again it will go to the higher worlds my dear friends that's what the krishna bhagavad in bhagavad gita krishna says arjuna go on go on to the war do not stop the war kill all the people kill all the kauravas your opponents as a social karma for the welfare of the people kill all of them your gurus your grandfather your cousins doesn't matter you are not killing anybody here you are not cutting their soul you are only cutting their body even if you kill them they will go to swargaloka so do the war because the arjuna doesn't know the truth so he was crying he has kept his weapons down on the ground and he was he has stopped everything then because of the teaching of krishna then he got realized oh i am a soul i am not the physical body they are also souls they are not the physical bodies for the welfare of welfare of the people a social as a part of social karma i can kill all these people he has done it that's what my dear friends when you don't know the truth you cry for every situation you lament for small things you repent for everything all the incidents of your life you keep crying that's called depression also it, 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 it comes into depression is no more required if you start practicing of meditation and spirituality it gives you the the great relief from all this uh, the practical situations the time to time the problems what you what you are facing in our life my dear friends so in bhagavad gita the great statement is there the krishna says jyatasya hi dhruva mrutyu it means the person who take birth bound to die dhruvam janma dhruvam janma mrutashya cha it means the person who take who death who died it he will again come back he take one more birth my dear friends this is a this is a generic process it happens when the person die what happens you go to swarga loka i already mentioned in the earlier time we are in the physical body we are in the physical world we also have etheric body around our around our physical body that is called etheric body it's called pranic body it will stay for 3 days after the death my dear friends then after the astral body gets released from us it gets a permanent disconnection my dear friends try to understand three instances one is your sleep when you are sleeping in the in your sleep you you take a astral body out out of your physical body it makes a journey to all other lokas higher worlds it sees lot of experiences meets lot of lot of uh, people lot of masters it takes lot of wisdom during the nights when you are when your body is getting recharged why your body is getting recharged because you went to the deeper state of though it is unconscious but you went to deeper state in the form of meditation the unconscious meditation then you get lot of cosmic energy in that period 
during the sleep, during the slow sleep, what happens? Your astral body gets released. It goes to the different worlds, higher worlds. But there is a connection, my dear friends. Nothing will happen. Though the astral world gets released from you, there is a connection between the physical body and the astral body that is called silver card. Prana tige. That means one silver card will be there that is touchable. Wherever it goes, our astral body goes from us. It goes to the higher, higher frequency worlds. It gets stretches. The moment you get a small disturbance, you will come back again and more and join with your physical body, my dear friends. In any case, somebody is able to join. That is called permanent death. Death of the physical body. It is not a death of the any other body, my dear friends. I already explained in the previous class, previous, uh, previous session. We are the combination of seven bodies. Here, for, for this explanation, we need the three bodies, basically. What is your physical body, etheric body, your astral body, of course, causal body, supra-causal body. Then after, your cosmic body, your spiritual body, nirvanic body. It goes like this. So anyway, you try to understand. The etheric body goes in three days. It, it is a kind of a ether. The etheric body is built with the ether. It's kind of a, it gets into dust, then merge into the, the Panchabhutas. We also call it as a aura. It's called, we call it as a magnetic field around us. That is the etheric body. After this, what happens? The astral body gets released. In the sleep, gets released and come back again. That's a temporary death. Every night, you are undergoing the process of death, my dear friends. But you don't know. You are not conscious. You are not aware of it. There is another instance of this temporary death. You always understand. But in, the, in that instant, in that context, you try to understand it consciously. That is called meditation, my dear friends. There also you will experience the temporary death. It means your astral body gets released from you. From your physical body, the astral body gets released during meditation. When you reach to the highest state of energy, if you get, if you, when you get, get more and more cosmic energy into your body, then once you are, you get activated, the your nadi sudhi happens. After that, astral travel won't happen. So during this astral travel, again you go out of your physical body. You are able to, see, you are able to watch the physical body from the top. And this astral body gets released and it goes to the all other worlds, higher worlds, and it see a lot of, uh, uh, lot of sights and, you know, sightseeing. And then it meets a lot of great masters who have already passed away. And it also can meet a lot of the people who passed away in your house or in your near and dear ones, whoever it may be. You can, you can meet a lot of great masters. If you are interested in music, you can meet the great musicians who are passed away. If you are a singer, you can meet a lot of great singers who passed away from this earth planet in the recent times, in the past time. It all happens. All these are the great experiences in the astral world, my dear friends. Hence, there is there's again temporary death. You are able to witness it. You are able to experience it during the meditation. This third one, the third context is a permanent death. For the physical body, the reason is the moment your astral body gets released, it can be normal death, it can be accident, it can be suicide. Of course, suicide is the highest pop karma. One sub one not supposed to do that. Anyone should not resort to that kind of activity. It is a highest pop karma. It means he may get relieved from the issues, from the problems. He may think it's a problem, but if he gets into the sadhana, if he, if he gets into the spirituality, any problem will be looked as a as simple as and it becomes silly for him. Because he knows the truth. He is not a physical body. Why do you suffer? You, are, you know the ultimate truth, my dear friends. You are not a physical body. You are the soul. You are the soul entity. You are the consciousness. You are the self. You don't have suffering anymore. You are relieved out of the, all these things. That is called enlightenment. There is no much difficulty for enlightenment. It is there right inside you. The God is residing you. Why do you worry about it? The God has, the God has been residing you. It is residing in everywhere. 
is residing in you, in your, in your, in your child, in your mother, in your father, in your wife. He is there very much. I try to say this word again. Many of the people, they blame God if they don't, go, if they don't get success, if they don't get the results in time, whatever they tried for. I try to say that replace the God with the past karmas. That is the correct word for you. Correct word for us. Past karmas will decide the present results, my dear friends. There is a cause and there is effect. That is called law of causation. Yesterday, day for yesterday, I explained you. Hence, you know, no need to blame anybody here. There are past karmas. That is, that is your God. In your terms, what you feel God, that is the correct, that is the correct replacement. It is going to decide your current fortune, your current effects. Nothing is going to decide, my dear friends. Hence, we need to understand. In Bhagavad Gita also said, everywhere the, the same thing is explained again and again, my dear friends. Over take birth, you will die. Over take over die, you will again take the rebirth. The process, this is called law of incarnation. So, we need to be practicing all these things in our lifetime. We need to practice our spirituality on the regular basis so that you can easily understand this law of incarnation, the death and birth, all this process, my dear friends. It's not difficult at all. Everything is depends on you only. And many of the scientists, modern scientists, have researched a lot about this process of death and birth. So one of the scientists, Dr. Raymond Moody, Raymond Moody has practiced a lot. He has researched about many of the people who are nearing the, nearing the death in hospitals. Raymond Moody, Dr. Raymond Moody. He has written a wonderful book for you, Life After Death, Life Beyond Death, Life After Death. That's an excellent book, my dear friends. You can read that. What he has done, many of the people, who are nearing the, nearing the death, you go there, you will be with them and you will do all the experiment on them. What happens is, in, in a, some of the cases we notice, the person goes into coma and the people, and you know, like doctors will be keep trying to resurrect it, to bring back the life. Then that person looks like life is there looks like breath is lost. What happens after some time? After some time, the slowly what happens, the person will come back. The person will come back and then you will come back to the breath. Again, you, you keep telling how the death process he has really carried forward. He has gone through the a channel, a dark, a dark light. Then after the the highest amount of light gets opened, then he goes to the other side. That is the other side, this is the other side. There are two sides. Right? Bhuloka, Sovaraloka. That means physical, physical world, then the other one is astral world. That is called other side. When he went to other side, he tried to meet a lot of people who are waiting for him, or the great masters, he will be meeting them. He will be seeing all the people who passed away the earlier times. He will be knowing it. He'll be trying to understand what it is, where I am right now. All of a sudden, then he try to see that I'm not in the physical body. I am out of the physical body. But because of he has got still some more life to live on the earth, because his number of number of breaths are not discounted to zero. There are much more, there are remaining breaths when he's in his swasa bank. That means breath bank. So, obviously, we'll come back again to the normal life. And then he started telling all the experiences, how the death has been taken forward, how the death process has been carried forward. He will explain everything to the... That is the way Raymond Moody has... Raymond Moody has wonderful research has been done by him. One more scientist is there. So, his name is Ian Stevenson. Dr. Ian, Ian Stevenson. Stevenson. So, he has researched a lot. He has written a wonderful book, 20 Suggestive Cases of Reincarnation for you. 
is also a wonderful book, my dear friends. So, so let us try to understand. So there is a death is certain, birth is certain. There is no ambiguity in this. We don't need to worry about it. We don't need to bother about it, my dear friends. It may be painful for you for some time. At the same time, we need to understand the person who goes off. What happens if, uh, even if he died here, what happens? He's getting released from this earth planet. In fact, this on the earth planet also is life must be beautiful. Life must be amazing. But it's, hap it's, not, it's not happened because of his past karmas and his present karmas also. He's not leading the life properly because of his ignorance. He doesn't have the wisdom, spiritual wisdom. So anybody who is practicing this meditation and spirituality, this life, you will try to make it more joyful, wonderful, and surprising. Such a kind of such a kind of life you can definitely lead. There is all possibility, all the opportunity for you to make this life itself is wonderful and to make this life itself is a the final incarnation also. What Gautam Buddha did, he did a great practice of meditation, sadhana. Then the same life he made, he made that life as a the last life, last incarnation. Friends, anybody who goes from this world at the end of the death, if you try to observe the mind of the person, what exactly is thinking inside, depend on whether the next life will be dependent. As I told you last time, yesterday decides today, today decide, today will decide tomorrow. Whatever we have done yesterday, the continuation of that is to today. Today's today's whatever the today's activities we do, basing on this, that tomorrow depends. Uh, more or more or less, I am telling you. The same way, the person who is leaving this birth, that means the, this life, is going to the other side, to the higher worlds. I will tell you, whatever the amount of karmas, whatever the positive or negative karmas, what you accomplish here. You perform here. Depend upon that what happens. His mind is his mind is positioned in that state. What happens is when you go to the other side, you try to do the same thing. When you try to all these negative karmas, if you are, somebody is doing negative karmas here, somebody doing murdering somebody, cheating somebody, all these things he is doing here. For example, before his death, he goes to the other side in the astral loka. What he does, he try to do the same thing again there. It means he lead the dark life. Or there also. That is why I am telling when you are in the earth, when you are in the earth planet, when you are in the physical body, take care of this life. Make it beautiful so that your next life, after the life after the death, also becomes beautiful, my dear friends. There's a lot of connectivity in between these two. You will leave your you leave your body like you are leaving your dirty shirt and putting other shirt. That's of course certain, as I told you. Jatasya Mrityo. Drom Mutyo. That means over take birth, you will also die. So it means to make your life, life after the death also beautiful, you need to have the right activities, right deeds, right karmas you must be doing on this earth planet, my dear friends. If somebody depends upon your positive karmas, the punya, whatever punya you have done here, that much time you will be in the astral world, either negative karma, positive karma, you will definitely have to experience there also. My dear friends, when you experience that, what happened? After that, you will, un you will once again take that is called astral death. That body also you are going to you are going to die from that body also. That body also you have to leave it. Then what will happen? That means your punya karma is finished. Your negative karma is finished. You have already experienced it in the astral body, in the astral body, in the astral world. Then you go to the causal world. You will try to decide. What are all the negative karmas I have done in the past life? And because of that, what are the negative results that has come to me? And what need to be done? What not to be done? Let me plan for the one more birth and go back to the earth planet and take this time. I'm going to do this. I'll design. I'll make a purpose of my life. I will make a blueprint. Then with that blueprint, I'll again come back to the earth planet. I lead my life again. I take a birth in any of the one of the mother womb. I select my parents, I select my all the situations, all the circumstances, and I will try to accomplish my goal. To accomplish my purpose of life with a designed blueprint, I come back to the earth planet. But unfortunately, after coming over here, due to the Maya, 
you will forget everything. When you are a child, you will remember everything, my dear friends. Up to fourth year, four years, five years, they definitely remember what their past life was. Many of the children, that's what I have told you. 21 Suggestive Reincarnation, that book says everything clearly to you. Many of the children who took birth, they used to tell about all their past life. I was living there, my father's name is so, my wife is low, my wife is so and so. Then this researcher, Dr. Stevenson, right? He went and researched all the people. He found that they're all truth, they're all correct. Try to understand. So this again in a scientific research happened, my dear friends. Hence, so we don't need to worry about the death. Only we need to worry about the right karmas, leading our life, current life, with the great spiritual wisdom, with a great sadhana, with great practice, will define the next life, previous life, and the next, next upcoming life, even the life beyond death, life after the death, everything is taken care of, my dear friends. So you must be, you must, you must get into the great practice, great sadhana. Your sadhana must never be left. And you must continue this all throughout life, my dear friends. So, friends, we will go for meditation now. Already we are 9.37. So, over freshly doing, I mean, over the newcomers, I will guide you. And the old masters who are already known the practice of meditation, go into the meditation. Close your eyes. Switch off your light. Switch off your mind. Clasp your fingers. Clasp Cross your feet, cross your legs, sit comfortably, take a back rest. If you are having any back pain, you can take the support of wall or the chair. Close your eyes, my dear friends. During the meditation, you must close your eyes. Be always with the closed eyes during the meditation. Do not open the eyes during meditation, my dear friends. Be with your natural breath. Observe the natural breath. Be with your natural flow of breath. There is no hurry in this life. We have so many lives. We have come to this life. We will go out of this life. We will again come back to this life. One more life. Why do you, why do you become hurry? What is that hurriness? Why do you commit mistakes out of your hurry? Why do you get into the karmic cycle? Get into the dharmic cycle? You are committing great sins by doing all negative karmas because of your hurry, because of your ignorance. Be with your breath. Natural flow of breath. Going deeper and deeper. Inner and inner. Going the deep inside. Be with your breath. If you get any thoughts, cut the thoughts right away and come back to the breath. Always be with your breath. Whatever the thought, it, however important it is, do not entertain any thought at this time. Just be with your natural breath. Forget your world, forget your family, forget your wife, children, spouse, whatever it may be, you are no way connected to anyone in your meditation. 
forget everything, forget everything, forget your problems, forget your job, forget your issues, but you forget your commitments, forget everything, nothing is important. Just be with your breath. Go inside. Go inside. Relax. The great relaxation you are entering into. Inner gets purified. All your inner, inner gets purified. Your intuition gets activated. You become an intelligent being with the practice of meditation. Meditation gives you the liberation of liberation from the sorrows, all the worldly sorrows. Meditation also gives you the liberation from cycle of death and birth. The karma chakra, janma chakra will come out of all these things. in the highest and most easy way. That is meditation. So simple and great results. Highly powerful. Yet simple. Very simple but very powerful. Be with your breath. Be with your natural breath.
last one minute my friends final one minute be with your breath be with your natural breath last 30 seconds final 30 seconds final 10 seconds 10 place your both hands on your eyes for 5 more seconds 5 4 3 2 1 0 slowly take away your hands and slowly open your eyes slowly open your eyes hello yes yes i am saying that uh, if we commit suicide means uh, we'll get um, karma no bad karma negative the great great negative karma again in the next life it will be much much worst worse than what you what you what one uh, who committed whatever the situation he faced here you will come back means you will have much more the worse situation for example a student who is studying 10th standard if he failed means will, will he be put back into 10th standard or he will be promoted no uh, means he should study again yes that's, that's what the same thing happen the same syllabus again he has to see, uh, go through the same syllabus there won't be a different syllabus because he failed you know i'll give different syllabus the school will not agree system will not agree he must go through the same syllabus again again the same problems they have same situation same family same brother mother wife all everything is same what difference it makes when he come back again he lost his physical body he lost his valuable life here right he committed he just thrown away mm. which is given by the universe he is throwing out then he is going out mm. thinking that he will get something else he may get relief temporarily my dear friends but even when he is going to the higher worlds he suffer a lot since he has done the negative karma here by committing suicide he done a great negative karma when he go to the astral world just after the just after the death, after the death what happens even in fact to go to the astral world there are lot of restrictions for these people who commit the suicide they are not in a position to the astral world also they will be just roaming like a earth bound soul they'll be like earth bound soul they'll be roaming only on this earth earth itself they'll be trying to see what they can do how they can get into your house how they can get in, nothing they can't do anything as we in sushan and singh case the captain yeah sushan ke singh case it happened no like they can't it's murder or uh, suicide the, hmm. they didn't know no that about that case Ah uh, no no no! I didn't follow that, but uh, definitely whatever it may be, whatever it may be, we don't need to take a particular case anymore. But I am just in general, I am telling anybody who take the commit who commit the suicide, he has to suffer here on this earth planet before going to enter into the astral world. After getting into the astral world, also he must suffer again. He must go through all the negative experience. Many people say in Purana Sanal there are Naraka Loka, there are Swarga Loka. It is nothing. whatever you have done the deeds that is your naraka whatever the great deeds great karmas you do that is your swarga loka your deeds are your your loka whatever the kind of deeds you do that is the kind of loka you experience nobody is there to give you anything else my dear friends 
they won't there are only mentors there are only guides or the earth planet there are guides on the other lokas astral lokas the kazal loka kazal world the supra kazal world all the other lokas there are mentors there are guides who are seniors who are senior most who are enlightened people here on this earth planet they won't be probably coming back what happens when you will come back again you learn you learned all the life you became an expert right you got enlightened here then when you go back what happens after enlightenment you you must start teaching when you get enlightened yourself that's called harihanta when you start teaching bodhisattva when you start teaching the entire world you become buddha until that stage one may one may come and visit the planet again planet earth you may you may keep coming for these kind of things otherwise no need to come no need to have any reincarnation at all on this earth planet yes anupam sir uh, yes sir good evening yes. sir yeah, good evening. sir uh, my question is uh, so uh, till we get an en enlightenment so getting enlightenment means re realizing the purpose of one's life yes so you mean to say till that is done one will keep taking births and deaths i mean we will Both. keep incarnating yeah definitely so is it possible for all human beings on this earth planet to get enlightened yeah why not that is a, that is called satya yuga when satya yuga was there all are enlightened all are enlightened people in fact i will tell you this is the right age to lead for the enlightenment the reason is we we try to be so sensitive at least you know we try to understand in the previous yuga not the previous yugas i can say previous years like maybe 200 years 300 years 400 years right there are a lot of blind beliefs that try to kill the people massacre massacre was happening now at least we try to see there is a law to punish if somebody murder it you know there is kind of a fear now yes earlier this also was not there yes so we are getting into the we are getting into the positive side we are getting into the positive side good signs but still with your own practice only you can go to that level without your practice again you may not be entering into the the highest state of consciousness so whatever be the i mean uh, we getting enlightenment also depends upon our uh, previous karmic debt and uh, uh definitely punya definitely. karma and everything so it might not happen in one life or two lives though definitely we would sure. want to oh. not sure it also it is also possible it is not impossible possible okay. yes but with your Correct. sadhana believe, with your sadhana only it, it, it all depends on your sadhana yes sir and one more personal question uh mm -hmm. my mm -hmm. mother died of a fire accident uh, while lighting mm -hmm. a lamp to god her sari mm -hmm. caught fire and uh, it was very mm -hmm. unexpected early morning it happened and uh, by night 8 pm she was no more i was mm -hmm. there at her death bed when she expired i could see her last moments i could see her mm -hmm. breath passing out of the body and i only mm -hmm. went to the doctor and told them that she is no more mm -hmm. so uh, when uh, i was a witness to all this physically mm -hmm. yes as you said it disturbed me a lot mm -hmm. yes i i understand your pain and your grief you know the kind of incident is totally unwarranted and unexpected correct which has happened which has happened to her but one thing you need to understand right the the kind of uh, the karmic the to the total karmic picture of any person you can't understand unless you are an enlightened person okay you can never you can never understand i will tell you many of the instances like some of the one the infant she born and after five days still pass away yes. what do you say about it it's very painful for the parents yes for really for nine months the mother has really look up looked after very well and you no know, even after that after nine months you know pregnancy and then she delivered the baby after four five days she is passed away so that is why when there is a when that what what about the birth date the next to it there is a death date also given already the ticket is confirmed mm. yes sir you don't need to, you don't need to worry on that 
even your mother passed away in this in this situation she really paid her karma negative karma in a most painful way but she has come she has come out of that karmic death whatever she had in any of the life she has done for somebody she came out of that you don't need to worry about it yeah so but the, uh, from then on i have lot of questions i had lot of questions in my mind sir mm-hmm. as to why such a thing happened to one person one person dies very peacefully and another person lives his full span life span mm-hmm. all these uh, thing but uh, your people used to tell me get into meditation it might help you because i got into a lot of uh, uh, yeah. mental issues after that in the sense i got into anxiety issues i got into digestion issues and all that so i could i could not relate uh, all these health is- physical issues to that incident but somewhere yeah. in the corner of my heart i had so many questions in my mind as to why this happened why this happened with me alone mm-hmm. so probably now i think uh, i will be able to find some answers definitely definitely this, this is the path this is the path path to understand even if you don't understand but you try to realize that her negative karma the great the this uh, what you can say like uh, the great imprint of that uh, very bad karma what she committed in the past lives she has paid it now she has paid it and passed away doesn't matter see the body why you why you take the body first of all we take this physical body because we have some the karmic bank balance the net the negative balance we want to experience that to experience yes. that you need a physical body correct without your physical body sitting in the astral world if i say i'll remove all my karmas i will pay all the karmas impossible not you can't do anything there these kind of situations are not there there is no there is no the kind of uh, the works we do here the the results what we get so everything is everything have is like you know the kind of uh, repercussions the consequences all this we face here we don't face any any this kind of reper- repercussions and uh, the issues in the astral world astral world is very free world free. whatever you want it is there in front of you if you have any desire if you have if you have any wish it is there in front of you what do you worry about it there is no question of work there is no question of karma and cause cause and effect all these things will not be applicable to the astral worlds so a soul does not have an intellect sir in, in the sense will it be able to distinguish between right and wrong after it leaves the body a soul once it leaves yeah. the body yes, will yes, it yes. have the capacity to distinguish between right and wrong or will it lose its intellect sure capacity no 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 <laughs> see even after the death the, your mind will be carried forward your mind whatever the mind you have developed during this life right so yeah. that gets that that is carried along with the soul as a subconscious mind okay okay it's subconscious mind below conscious that means whatever gets into conscious whatever you practice whatever you do all that gets into subconscious mind it stay with your soul when you come back the people like son of the small child you know small child he sings so nice he sings mm-hmm. all devotional songs very easily without any much effort how is it possible correct right yes yeah so likewise there is there is a lot of thing to know lot of thing to realize in this life don't waste your time try to spend all your time very very precious time this time is very precious for us in our physical life many people don't understand this they waste their time watching television doing gossip you know blaming somebody judging somebody commenting somebody is yes, of no use yes sir read the book when you have that much time read the book written by great swami vivekananda ramakrishna paramahamsa ramana maharshi yes. right sure the great the great people the great experts you know scholars and um, highly intellectual highly educated the great doctors from america and so many other countries go and sit in, in beside uh, ramakr ramana marsi he was not speaking anything but they will be sitting with him in the silent mode so the master in the in the master the aura of the inner the master if you are sitting there your mind gets automatically shut down correct that's that is the purpose of visiting a master sitting with the master 
a living master. Yes. Yes. Sure, sir. Thanks a lot. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Parati, madam. Hello, sir. Good yes. Good evening. Namaste. Namaste. I have so many questions today, but I'll ask them this <laughs> Okay. Okay. Uh, when I am doing this meditation now, mm -hmm. only my right side is having goosebumps and some energy flow. Only right side. <laughs> so that is that is where the is energy, no... energy flow required for you there. Yeah, means, the the okay. energy tubes, right? And the energy tubes, wherever energy tubes, like all the nodes, wherever they get blocked, you know, they need the energy flow. Mm -hmm. The nature nature looks after how it has to travel, how it has to cleanse yeah. in your system. The nature will look, nature will look after. Left side is not uh, right now. Right now, not required. Not, not having any. Not required. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you, sir. And one more here. Why this uh, reincarnation of so many sages, which is only their men? Sir. Why? Why so many reincarnations? Reincarnation of this is receive yogis and whatever Mahasi, uh, Sai ah. Baba. Or, yeah. There are all men only. Mm -hmm. Why not women? That is <laughs> okay, okay. popular. Right. <laughs> So I will tell you, there are many, many women. They are they are actually unknown. They are not to the public, but there are great saints, there are great realized souls in the women also. But the society, the society, the society reflect, the society puts out only the men. But in fact, there are many, many the great souls, the highly evolved souls in the women also. For your information, okay. So there is no distribution, there is no differentiation, there is no male, female, there is no linga, there is no gender for the spirituality. Absolutely. In fact, I will tell you the secret. So for a woman, the enlightenment is very, very, very easy, highly easy. The easiest way for women, the enlightenment. Enlightenment is very easy for her. Why? She is a nature. She is a nature. She knows what is the nature. She really experiences the nature. The man cannot experience the nature. He must practice a lot. The woman need not to practice so much because she lives the nature. She try to live naturally. Most of the times naturally. So it is easiest for the woman to practice and get the enlightenment. Sir, Mata Sharada Devi of uh, Ramakrishna Mission is one such example, sir, which I yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Many, many, many of the, even I, I know uh, uh, Mata uh, Anasuya, like uh, in Andhra Pradesh, she has become a great yogi. Great and great. I don't know. She was uh, wonderful, you know, like she was amazingly healing the people and teaching a lot of wisdom and many Many things she has done. The great service yes, she has done to the humanity. After she got enlightened, she was having a husband, children, all that. It's quite possible. Then how the gender is selected during rebirth? Sir? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you will be selecting it. The soul yes. will be selecting. Soul will soul be, will... yes, making choice what you want. See, there are, let's say, I want to construct a building. What I need? Blueprint, a design. Without a design blueprint, I cannot construct a building. So I made the blueprint ready now. Now I need to implement. I need the manpower. I need the materials. I need the approvals, sanctions, a lot of things, right? So for that, what happens? You need to come to the earth planet. You made a blueprint. You made a design. What is your purpose of life? What you want to implement on the earth planet? Why, what exactly you want to achieve? You made a complete blueprint in the astral world, the causal world, basically causal world, then gets into astral body, then gets into physical body, right? Through mother womb. Then once you come, come back here, then you'll be doing all the necessary things and you'll be trying to go towards the goal. But 
your maya divert you mislead you you can't reach the you can't reach really go towards the goal then your purpose of life life is missed again again the whole life you know you'll be feeding the children you'll be doing something for a for the life you know for a livelihood you do something it becomes a monotonous routine job again because you lost your purpose you lost your direction the steamer which is going having one perfect direction once it is lost it will go to instead of going to america it goes to europe that's what happens all our lives it happened like that now with the meditation you are again coming back you are coming back to the track again so that's what the meditation does when the soul enters uh, the body almost like, like uh, three, three months three months about three months okay. three and how months. the human being once born no if we reincar- uh, rebirth is the human only or any animal also any anything also? yeah yeah possible very much possible if you do great uh, if you murder some 10 people you will you will go back to the <laughs> animal that's so, all lower level that means yeah it's a, it's a lower consciousness if somebody somebody out of his uh, ego out of his uh, the great uh, himsa pravurti right the himsa the himsa character what if when you go and hit some people or some or something happened then because of you some four five six people or died right what happens then you will be demoted you will be degraded then go back to the animal kingdom again is very much possible uh, that's yeah. that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that means the darwin theory is applicable here no no, no. Dar- darwin the- Dar- darwin theory is not right not right okay. from my we came we came, we came, we came no we came from the monkey all these things it's wrong okay so one thing you need to remember is every soul in the in the monkey in the tree in the mineral kingdom in the animal kingdom in the plant kingdom in the human kingdom everything is in evolution okay yeah. all this is all this human was there plants are there animal is there every in the animals there is a group soul in the trees also there is a the unit single soul and in the, when it comes to the human being they are called the sekala that means speck of the consciousness what we call what we call it as amshatma so there are there are the souls which are divided from the purnatma and we have each of each one of us have individual soul this is not there in the animal kingdom okay there only karma human beings no karma for uh, plants and animals yes definitely no karma because they live in the nature yeah. what they do after all they eat something yeah. right yeah. they eat something they sleep they reproduce again they eat they sleep so what is there so much of course they have feelings they have emotions they have reactions everything is there they have love affection towards their tissues right issues whatever the issues they have the children they have they also have a great affection and love all the kind of feelings and emotions are common quite common but they live with, the, with their own instinct something called instinct okay they live with the instinct that is why they go with the nature they don't have so much kind of all this karmic the karmic cycle the karmic debt karmic bondage they are out of that okay thank you sir so when can i ask tomorrow yeah no 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 any time you can ask okay giving other because i am telling all the my problems is so much not okay okay no so the yes puspa puspa is there namaste sir namaste ma namaste ande manam chese paapamu punyam vaati batte mana janma antena sir ante mante correct ఎప్పుడు కూడా మీరు చేసే పాప మీరు చేసే పా పుణ్యం ఈ రెండిటి బట్టే ఆ కర్మాసులు బట్టే మన నెక్స్ట్ లైఫ్ ఉంటూ ఉంటుంది ఎప్పుడు దీన్ని కరెక్ట్ గా చూసుకుంటే అది కరెక్ట్ వస్తా ఉంటాం సో ఆ విధంగా చెప్పండి సార్ చెప్పండి సో ఆ విధంగా మనం ప్రతి లైఫ్ కూడా అలానే తీసుకుంటాము మనం చేసిన కర్మలు మనం అనుభవించడానికి మన దేహం తీసుకుంటాం అది కూడా ఇంపార్టెంట్ శరీరం కరు కలు ధర్మ సాధనం అని చెప్పి ఒక స్టేట్మెంట్ ఉంది అంటే ఈ శరీరం లేనిది మనం అనుభవించలేం ఓకే ఈ కర్మలు అనుభవించాలంటే మన శరీరం కానే కావాలి 
ఏదో తెలియకో తెలిసో ఆ తప్పో రైటో ఎన్నో కర్మలు చేస్తూ ఉంటాం అర్థమైందా సో ఆ కర్మలన్నీ అనుభవించాలంటే మనకు శరీరం ఉండాలి సాధన చేయాలంటే శరీరం ఉండాలి కర్మలు అనుభవించాలంటే శరీరం శరీరం ఉండాలి నీకు ఆత్మ సాక్షాత్కారం కావాలంటే అదే శరీరం కావాలి మళ్ళీ శరీరం లేదంటే కర్మలు పే చేయలేవు శరీరం ఉం లేదంటే నువ్వు ఆత్మ సాక్షాత్కారం పొందలేవు నీకు మంచికి చెడుకు అన్నిటికి ఈ సాధనం కానే కావాలి ఇది ఒక సాధన ఇది ఇస్ అన్ ఇన్స్ట్రుమెంట్ ఇట్స్ అన్ ఇన్స్ట్రుమెంట్ బాడీ ఇస్ అన్ ఇన్స్ట్రుమెంట్ అంటే కొంతమంది ఎన్నో పాపాలు చేసి కూడా మామూలుగానే ఉంటారు వాళ్ళు వాళ్ళకి అంటే మామూలు జనాలు చెప్పుకునే విధానం సార్ నా అంటే నాకు ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ గా చెప్పట్లేదు చాలా మంది అంటారు కదా సార్ వాడు ఎన్ని పాపాలు చేసినా ఎలా ఉన్నాడో చూడు వీడు అన్ని పుణ్యాలు చేసినా సరే బాగా బాగా ఉన్నాడు అని అంటారు కదండి సో మంచి మంచి మంచిగా ఉండే వాళ్ళకే చాలా మంది చెప్తూ ఉంటారు నేను మంచి చేస్తున్నాను ఈ ఈ దేహంతో ఈ జీవితంలో ఈ జన్మలో నేను ఎవరికి పాప ఎవరికి తప్పు చేయలేదు ఎవరికి అన్యాయం చేయలేదు కానీ నాకు ఎందుకు ఇంత ఇంత దారుణంగా జరుగుతున్నాయి నా లైఫ్ లో ఎందుకు ఇంత ఆ ఇంత ద్వేషాలు ఇంత ఆ ఇంత దుఃఖము ఇదంతా ఎందుకు వస్తుంది నాకు ఎందుకు ఇంత అన్యాయం అవుతుందని ఎప్పుడు బాధపడుతూ ఉంటారు కదా దీనికి ఏ ఒక రీజన్ ఏంటంటే ఇది నువ్వు ఇప్పుడు బాధపడుతున్నది నువ్వు ఇప్పుడు అనుభవిస్తున్నది ఇప్పటిది కాదు ఇది ముందు జన్మది పూర్వ జన్మ కృతం పాపం వ్యాధి రూపేణ పీడ్యత దిస్ ఇస్ స్టేట్మెంట్ ఇన్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ అంటే పూర్వ జన్మలో మనం చేసినటువంటి ఆ పాపం అదే ఒక రోగంగా అదే ఒక నష్టంగా అదే ఒక కష్టంగా అదే ఒక దుఃఖంగా అదే ఒక చెడు పరిణామంగా మనం ఇప్పుడు అనుభవిస్తున్నాం అంటే ఇప్పుడు అనుభవిస్తున్నది ఇప్పటిది కానే కాదు ఇప్పటిది ముందుది కానీ నువ్వు అనుభవించి తీరాలి కాకపోతే ధ్యానం చేస్తే అనుభవించడానికి మనకు శక్తి సరిపోతుంది ఎలాంటి ఎలాంటి కష్టం వచ్చినా నష్టం వచ్చినా దుఃఖం వచ్చినా అన్యాయం వచ్చినా చెడు జరిగినా నువ్వు అనుభవించడానికి నీకు ఒకే ఒక సాధనం ధ్యానము ధ్యానం ఉంటే నీకు అంత శక్తి ఉంటుంది అంత యుక్తి ఉంటుంది అంత గ్రేట్ అండర్స్టాండింగ్ ఉంటుంది కాబట్టి నువ్వు ఆ ఆ కర్మను కూడా ఆ చెడు కర్మను కూడా నీట్గా ఈజీగా ఎంతో శాంతియుతంగా అనుభవించడానికి అవకాశం ఉంది అదే ఒక నార్మల్ పర్సన్ ఏం చేస్తాడు రియాక్ట్ అవుతాడు రియాక్ట్ అయితే రెస్పాండ్ కాడు రియాక్ట్ అవుతాడు రియాక్ట్ అయ్యి దాన్ని ఇంకా చెడ కొట్టుకొని దాని నుంచి హాస్పిటల్ పడి దాని నుంచి ఇంకోటి ఏమో అయిపోయి లాస్ట్ కు దాని దేహాన్ని కూడా పోగొట్టుకునేటువంటి స్టేజ్ కూడా వస్తుంది అంటే మనం ఒక జన్మ చేసాం కాబట్టి ఇప్పుడు కష్టం నష్టం అనుభవిస్తున్నాం సార్ ఇప్పుడన్నా మంచి చేస్తే నెక్స్ట్ జన్మ ఏదన్నా అవనియండి నెక్స్ట్ జన్మ అప్పుడైనా కరెక్ట్ గా ఉండగలుగుతాం సార్ హండ్రెడ్ పర్సెంట్ హండ్రెడ్ పర్సెంట్ ఇప్పుడు టెన్త్ బాగా చదివామా లెవెంత్ పోతావా లేదా అదే సింపుల్ లెవెంత్ బాగా చదివితే ట్వెల్త్ కెళ్తావు లెవెంత్ చదవకపోతే మళ్ళీ లెవెంత్ లో వస్తావు లెవెంత్ లో కూర్చోవాలి మళ్ళీ అంతే కదా థ్యాంక్ యూ సో ఎనీ ఆల్రెడీ వీఆర్ ఐ థింక్ టెన్ థర్టీ నవ్ టెన్ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ సో నేను ఒక చిన్న ఐ మీన్ సారీ సో ఐ విల్ సే ది హోలిస్టిక్ లైఫ్ స్టైల్ వన్ స్మాల్ టిప్ ఫర్ యూ ఆల్ ద మై డియర్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ సో ఐ థింక్ చాలా మంది మెనీ ఆఫ్ ద పీపుల్ హెవ్ లెఫ్ట్ ఆల్రెడీ సో ఐ విల్ ట్రై టు సే దిస్ ట్రై టు నో విచ్ వాట్ వాట్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ వాటర్ యు ఆర్ డ్రింకింగ్ ఆన్ అ డైలీ బేసిస్ ది వాటర్ ఈస్ మోస్ట్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఎలిమెంట్ ఫర్ యువర్ ఫిజికల్ బాడీ యువర్ ఫిజికల్ బాడీ నీడ్ టు బి హెల్దీ సౌండ్ ఇన్ ఆఫ్ టు ప్రాక్టీస్ యువర్ మెడిటేషన్ మై డియర్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ సో యువర్ ఫిజికల్ బాడీ ఈజ్ నాట్ హ్యావింగ్ గుడ్ హెల్త్ ఫిజికల్ హెల్త్ యు కాన్ ప్రాక్టీస్ you can't you can't go with your great sadhana your sadhana will be disrupted okay so try to keep your physical body in a healthy and more highly uh, highly aware and highly energetic way okay to keep that your water is more important the daily you are drinking water daily depends upon your weight for example you are 50 years old by 10 that means almost like uh, 6% of that 3 liters 6% of your weight for example you are 60 years old 6% of that is 3.6 liters you must drink every day my dear friends so when you are drinking that water what kind of water you are drinking you are drinking all the 
water which is available outside in the world right now in the in the current society you have kaveri water that means you have river water you have borewell water you have uh, can water you have bottle water all these kind of various waters are available but there is a problem okay kaveri water they try to put lot of chlorination right the chlorination means they add the chlorine to kill the bacteria and virus but when you when you get that water in the tap from the government the government will supply that water when you drink that water the chlorine will go chlorine will go inside and it does all the negative all the great damage to your tissues your cells so you are not supposed to drink that water what is available what is the what is the great possibility then then you can try to you know you can try to find natural way of cleaning that water the chlorination has to be removed okay so for the for the, in the current uh, market what happens is we have invented the technology has come that is called uv filter so i mean they put the candle filter uv filter and then it pass through that uv uv rays the ultraviolet rays it kills all that uh, whatever the it removes that order first of all it removes the smell it removes all chemicals it also kill all the bacteria virus in it then it will supply okay in the kaveri water with the uv with the application of uv you will get a proper clean water you can drink not a problem but if you have, if you have borewell water there is again one more problem maybe virus and bacteria of course you can kill through um, uh, and smell also you can remove any chemicals also removed by uv but in the kaveri in the in the borewell water we have other problem is called the hardness right the ph value yet of course in every water you need to be very careful about ph value and hardness my dear friends what is ph value the potency of hydrogen you have to measure always with the ph meter whatever the water you are drinking whether it is a drinkable acidic or alkaline if it is 7.4 it is a it is a pure alkaline water if it is anything less than 7 4 5 if you suppose if you drink a, a coke a pepsi coke a glass of pepsi or coke what happened your the blood ph value comes down heavily it becomes 4 or 4.5 it become acidic when it becomes acidic it creates lot of other problems like cancer heart attack the many kind of issues will come my dear friends so it means what what we need to do we need to keep ph value of water is always 7.4 7.5 for which you need to you, do, you don't need to have lot of hardness You should, the bacteria virus is of course taken care by uv filter the hardness and the ph value has to be controlled the tds has to be measured and tds is also the factor tds means what what are the minerals you are supplying to your body magnesium phosphorus zinc uh, the what are the calcium all this kind of uh, you know the salts that is minerals are required for the body for all the organ functioning properly so that means ph value your tds has to be proper tds must be between 50 between 100 to 150 and 200 it should be below 200 between above 100 my dear friends the many of the times we find all the alkaline water so called the kindly bisleri all that we will find if you measure tds value it is got, it is not more than 30 40 50 my dear friends it is not usable for drinking it is no more going to do good for your body right so you need to be taking care of this tds and the ph value very properly whatever the water you are drinking okay can water or your bottle water everything is actually acidic in nature it doesn't have proper ph value it doesn't have proper tds inside it without tds if you are drinking there is no use again you have to use the calcium tablets you have to give the extra from the outside you have to take all the support all the kind of supplements you have to take the doctor will say you take uh, supplements you take uh, d d vitamin tablets you take uh, you know the calcium tablets all this you are going to take because your water is not giving you water is not supplying what are the required minerals for your body so what need to be done what is the what is the solution see one of the greatest water is your spring water that means the water which flow through the river the water which is available next to the mountain water which comes of the well so that is the greatest that is highly highly alkaline water highly energetic water my dear friends okay so anyway the latest technology has never captured one thing has missed out of their research that is life force or life energy in the water that is very much missing there is no question of there is no research the no research happened till date till date till today so that's anyway loose that is, that is anyway lost and we don't need to bother leave over that at least you take care of amount of minerals no bacteria no virus your ph value these must be properly taken care so in the outside market we have no proper proper design or proper solutions for this 
the drinking the good mineral water and with the no virus no bacteria that kind of solutions are very very less okay so there is one solution which by my research my own research this is a vast subject this is called the miss the you know the kind of a the you can say that miracles of water miracles of water the message from water that is a great subject we can discuss in a complete one full session will be required to discuss about this water and the water and its effects and um, the kind of what kind of water how to clean it and the various uh, aspects of the water is also there and you also have a spiritual perspective of water okay there is a spiritual message from water that is also a great thing to be discussed my dear friends so anyway so there is one solution which i found which is going to be suitable for any kind of a kaveri water or your um, so called borewell water or your hard water all the things but if there is a hardness beyond 600 beyond 200 300 hardness right there is a ph value there is a tds there is a hardness three things are there okay the uh, there is a hardness also if there is a more hardness you have to use the softener after softener it comes to the uv after comes after uv it comes to the ro the, there is something called ro which has come recently what happened why it is why ro has come reverse osmosis why it has come the reason is whatever the uv water comes out of it right it has got lot of minerals like you know lot of minerals means hardness is too much the taste of the water is very bad right so then what happened after the uv after the death of bacteria or remove the remove the color remove the uh, you know smell everything then the water the hard water the borewell water it will be given through the ro what ro does ro removes all the required minerals also like complete minerals minerals will become zero absolutely that is magnesium phosphorus zinc potassium calcium everything will be removed then your water becomes zero water that's called dead water okay there is no use of it then after the ro then only one which i found which for my understanding okay there is something called the natural filter which is supplied by prakriti vanam in either in bangalore there are people to supply there are uh, actually it comes from madanapalli it comes from madanapalli as uh, near to the you know it is in a part of andhra so there is there is one thing which they have done is they have made one, one nice natural filter in which there are five layers added added any water you put onto that okay 20 liter whatever it's actually a can it's a small can designed as a small can actually so you put water on the top of it then it goes through the five layers in the in the layers they have added all the minerals like they added the bricks they added the charcoal they added the lime they added the sand they added the mud so because of all these things it goes through that then the output of that uh, output of that filter natural filter comes to be a, a natural filter and great mineralized water you can drink or i'm say okay so without any you will get all the minerals required to the body and you'll be healthy and happy right so this is one of the concept my dear friends so the holistic lifestyle tip which you can follow in your lifetime so then i will try to share those details who are interested i'll share in the uh, your whatsapp group you can get those details like from where you can get how you can get and how to utilize how to use that all the instructions will be passed by them so you can contact them directly i'll give their number okay so thank you friends if anybody have any questions here right thank you thank you very much good night namaste to all we'll meet tomorrow thank you